Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you've had a good week and I hope that some of you are getting a little bit of sunshine like we have gotten. We've gotten two beautiful days. Well, today is so sunny. Now I think tomorrow we're going to get some bad weather and some cold weather again and I'm hoping that's the last little, you know, cold weather spell we have because daylight savings time is this weekend and it's going to be spring soon. So I'm looking forward to that and today is actually Thursday and my hair is so frizzy. I don't know if it's like humid outside or what, but um, <laughs> it's hard for me to just oh, not put it in a ponytail. But anyway, um, tomorrow I have a, Will has put together a slide show for me at his school for me to come see and they did an invitation and everything. So I didn't know how rushed I would be tomorrow to make my video. So I decided I would do it today. And I don't have any makeup to show you. I don't think I bought any makeup this week at all. I did buy two pair of shoes that I'm gonna show you. And I think that's it. I don't, and I've gotten some clothes. I went to Oliver and I had um, decided on some shoes to sell on my blog. And Kelly that owns Oliver wears my shoe size. She's well, she wears my shoe size, but her foot's just a little bit bigger. So she could only wear one of the pairs. And so we did a swap for some clothes that I'll show you. And then the rest of them are on my website. And I did a tutorial yesterday and I just uploaded that today. So I figure, you know, I'll have some stuff to go through the weekend. But um, I did um, order some things that aren't here yet. And so, I hate to keep dragging out hauls, but I, f I feel like when I do hauls, at least I tell you a little bit about, you know, other things too. So, anyway, let me know below if you mind if I do another video this weekend and show you the rest of the things that I got. Okay, then, big update on my Celine bag. And I feel so ridiculous. I feel like L Lucy from the Lucille Ball show or something because I've always got such shenanigans going on but um yesterday when i did my tutorial i i mean i even had to cut this part out of the video when i was editing you know i got my new bag out and i was putting all my stuff in it and you know i was just like putting my stuff in it and there was like empty space in the bottom so i took that burberry or burberry bag put my lipsticks and stuff in it instead of switching out my other bag i was putting it in addition to in there and it was just, it was empty. And so I thought, okay, well, that'll be nice to have, um, to put a bottle of water or something like that in there. And you know, cause I just love the bag. It's just gorgeous. And I love the way it looks. I love everything about it. And so um, I did the video and I sat it there on the chair and I went to pick it up. And I just, I don't know, I just had this panicky feeling. I just thought this bag is just too big for me. I, you know, I'm not going to work. I don't carry a bottle of water around with me. It's like I was having to think of things to put in it. So I panicked all day yesterday. I bugged the crap out of Safu. I bugged my friend Lori. I bugged my friend Elizabeth. I bugged everybody. I bugged Genji because I feel like she's such an expert on handbags. And I bugged Sheila and all of them all day but all of them said you know if, that if it's too big and my friend Nadine and my friend Nadine wrote me and she said how do you like your bag and I could tell even in the text you know there was some skepticism in there and I said it's too big and I mean it was it was heartbreaking to me because I love it and so she said I could tell she said I could tell in the video you were talking yourself into it so I did end up sending it back yesterday to Safu but in exchange for another bag that I will get I'm assuming I'll get it you know in the next couple of days or something so I you know I won't be able to hold back showing you that bag so anyway so thank you for everybody loving it and I loved it too it's just so pretty and I mean that bag is built it just it reminds me of like a German car or something you know it's just different than a lot of the bags that you know it just feels different so it's a gorgeous bag so if you do have it i think it's awesome and i just think that for my lifestyle you know i just don't if i were going to work and putting a notebook in there or a laptop or just all the things you could put in there it would be perfect so 
but I did get some good stuff this week to show you and I'm wearing one of them but I saved one to show you and it is another pair of Stuart Weitzman shoes which I was told before I went to New York that Stuart Weitzman has been bought out by Coach and when we went to a Stuart Weitzman store in New York, they did indeed confirm that Stuart Weitzman has been bought out by Coach. That is very upsetting to me. It's about like the whole Laura Mercier, Cashew Beige, changing the formula because they assured me everything would stay the same. The quality would stay the same. The designs would stay the same. It can't stay the same because it's been sold. So my advice to myself and maybe to you, I don't know, maybe you know of some shoe companies that have been through this that have, that have been just fine, but I think things will probably change. I hope that the quality won't change and I hope that the sizing won't change because I know straight across the board, I wear an US 8 and I can wear an 8 in Stuart Weitzman. And every pair of shoes I've gotten from Stuart Weitzman have been just awesome. And um, so I'm pretty upset about that. But anyway, that's okay, life, um, isn't it? So here is my pair of shoes, and they are fabulous. They are a new design. Do you guys remember? I have them on my website for sale. I wore them one time, and I really don't even think I wore them out of the house. I think I wore them for that video, and I think I wore them to do my outfit of the day pictures. But I think we were going to a restaurant that had slippery floors, hardwood floors, and I think I took them off before we even went anywhere. But I bought the Stuart Weitzman nudist sandal in Fawn, and they have a four and a half inch heel, and they're gorgeous. And like I said, if you are someone who has, or that you're go just going out to dinner or you're just going to wear them on a simple date or you're just going to wear them for a party at your home or you are great at wearing high heels then they are the most gorgeous the sexiest pair of shoes Kelly tried them on and she really wanted them but she's not really a high heel wearer so I think she taught herself out of them but um so then they came out with these which is called the nudist song and these are, I think, three and a quarter inch heel. They're not quite four inch. I wish they were, but they're almost. And so I got these in the exact same nude color as my Nouveau pumps. And I was going to wait and get them until, look how pretty they are, until, you know, closer to the summer. But I was scared that this color would get sold out and wouldn't be made for a while or something. I knew I wanted this color, and now I want the black ones. I've got the Schutz Katie black ones but um i don't know if they're if these are more comfortable i'll probably sell those and get these because these just seem really comfortable they've got a real substantial it's not a platform but a real substantial bottom my toes don't feel like they're just on the pavement and um so anyway love these and i bought these from zappos you can get them from the Stuart weitzman website zappos i'm sure there's plenty of places that sell them but I always just go through Zappos because they deliver quick and they have all my information in there. It's just really, really easy to buy from Zappos. So, love those. And then the other shoes I bought, I actually saw in New York. But I knew I could get them when I got home and I ended up finding them on sale. Here they so are. Like they are UGG brand. Is that? No. Where's that? I just saw an UGG sign. Okay, it must be on the label. They are UGG brand. Yeah, goodness gracious. Okay, there. That's where I'm seeing it. And um, I, when we were in New York, I was wearing my, I'm sorry, I've got a piece of random hair. We were walking around and I told myself, I was wearing my Fry boots, which did wonderful. They really did. And um, so I told myself, if I see a pair of like Sorrells or just a pair of really good all weather boots I am going to buy them so a couple times we walked into UGG stores or somewhere that sold UGGs and I kept seeing these boots and of course these aren't the ones you would wear in the snow but I just really liked them and I figured they would be comfortable and I thought they would look so good in the spring and summer and they are called the Charlotte and the color is pearl and I believe they have some other colors but look how pretty these are they are just gorgeous. I tried these on for John last night because I just got them and he loved them. And what makes them really pretty is this dip right here. And you can't, 
you won't be able to appreciate that until you try them on with like a dress or a pair of shorts or something because it really is I don't know it's so weird it kind of makes your leg look thinner and longer just that little dip right there and I am going to spray them with my UGG spray they are probably going to get dirty but they everywhere I went and everywhere online they were like two hundred dollars but I found them on 6pm.com which I believe is a division of Zappos for like 136 and they had plenty of sizes so I'm not sure why they were on sale there but they have a rubber bottom and they're just really nice really beautiful shoes I think the only thing is this this is why I was really discussing them with John I didn't see this and you know I should have known they're Uggs but they do indeed have the fur right there at the toe and so I was thinking gosh you know these might be too hot for me and they might but I like them so much that I'm going to risk it and see because you know Uggs are really not made for cold weather anyway they're made for people in Australia they're made for like surfers and stuff like that they're made to keep your feet um, at a comfortable temperature which mine keep my feet warm I have to admit but anyway I usually wear Uggs wear my Ugg boots all the time Brooke hates it believe me and um, so anyway I will let you know if that bothers me it's not the full you know it's not the whole thing see it's just down there in the toe so if any of you have boots like this you'll have to tell me what you think but I figured since I found them on sale I would share them with you and I would keep them because they're just so pretty I just think they're gonna look awesome with jeans and a tank top and a cool belt um, a little dress summer dress um, you guys know how much I wear my rag and bone canvas booties I wear them to death so I thought I would enjoy another little pair of booties for the summertime okay that is it that I have for shoes and all that stuff so I've got some clothes that I bought or I some I bought no all I traded yeah I traded for um, a pair of pumps and um, so I'll show you okay, Oliver, so right. I probably should have told you about this before but this is something new that I got from Oliver and it is the new 360 sweater and uh, is he not the cutest thing with his headphones on I think that is so awesome and but this one's totally different than the cashmere and I probably I don't know if that would look better tucked in some probably would let's tuck that in some bring it out just a little bit like that maybe like that yeah let's do that turn the light on but this is a linen version it's their summer sweater and it's like three quarter length sleeves and I just love it's kind of like those Monroe t-shirts that have that just beautiful drape I just love it and I think it would look so good with so many things and um, like imagine just with like a black pencil skirt or just shorts and boots like those boots anything I just love it and I just uh, he's so cute with his little headphones on so that's one thing new that I got and then the day that I was in there um, she we were looking at the she still has such a, an awesome clearance rack and this was on the clearance rack um let's see blessed or the meek is the brand and it was 40 percent off and it is a beautiful maxi dress with like a i don't really like high low but this dress kind of comes up on the side and then it's like that and that day i happened to have my black obey moto jacket on and we both just thought how good this would look with that jacket over it as we kind of go into spring so that's the reason I got that and you know you know how much I love maxi dresses so I just thought that was really cool I, I saw got that this one. last week and didn't get it and I've got so many wild fox sweatshirts but this one just stayed on my mind and it has the cutest name his name is laziest tiger ever oh isn't that the most precious thing it reminds me of Bubba, little tiger. And um, how cool is this going to be with 
the jeans I have on are the Cory from Citizens of Humanity, and I just love this sweatshirt. So let me just show you, and I'll go ahead and show you my and heels here too. are the Stuart Weitzman nudist song. They feel awesome. There's plenty of room, like down here in the toe bed. My toes aren't freaking out. And um, so look at that, perfect outfit. And then I thought this looked nice together too. So, and I've moved into one of my Balenciagas until so I get I'm my going to just leave that light on. And I wanted to show you, this is the lip gloss that um, I'm wearing all by itself from Burberry. It's, I believe, I can't remember what this one was called, something pink, but this is the one that was in that gift. And it's so pretty and it's so like smooth and yummy. It's not, you know what I mean, it's not the slicky, yucky kind. And then this, I meant to show you, um, I got some more of these in, not the gold ones yet, but I got this one, which I have bracelets like this too that I have never shown you. I need to when I get big boxes of stuff that you haven't seen before, and I just got a big box of stuff that you haven't seen, a bunch of really cool big earrings that I think are going to look so good with maxi dresses and bathing suits, just some real big summery earrings and new hoops. I got some new oval hoops. But um, I got this one, which is the old gold, and I think it is so cool because it looks kind of, um, well, it definitely looks worn, but it looks, I don't know, edgy. I just think it's cool. And I got the, uh, let's see, one or two of the hammered gold. I've got more of the regular gold on the way. They'll be here. It's, it was supposed to be two weeks, so now it should just be a little over a week. And... Um, Anyway, so I got a bunch of that stuff, and what else did I get? Some new bracelets, new like magnet bracelets and stuff like that. I haven't had a chance to, I was doing editing my video last night and dealing with my handbag debacle. <laughs> I don't know why I get, I get real um, panicky and emotional, and it is a lot of money. That bag was probably the most expensive bag I've ever bought and probably ever will buy. I, I shouldn't say that, but have ever bought. But, you know, it's not the end of the world, but for some reason in that moment, you just feel like it's so the end I am of the world. burning up. I don't know how hot it is here today. Let's see. I'm going to check and see the weather. I opened the back door. It's 64, but it feels hotter in here to me, probably just because I'm doing this and somewhat, I'm always somewhat nervous. What in the world? That's, <laughs> that's John. Here's a picture of John. <laughs> okay, I better go and speak to him, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll probably see you this weekend. Bye-bye.